So I was supposed to go training this morning. I was supposed to go do some lifting. Um, but I got in the car and I started driving and the baby wouldn't stop screaming. Nugget was just beside herself. She did not want to be in her car seat. So I decided to turn around and come home because I don't want to go lifting with a screaming baby. And we got about five minutes from the house. We got about five minutes from the house. And then, look at that. That is a sleeping baby. Last time we did a breakdown, it was of one of Tom's fights, so I thought that he should be here to uh, mock me incessantly. Absolutely. So, okay. Here, we go. here we have some fantastic establishing shots that I've performed. This is during, I think it's one of our comp houses, right? And here you can see Charles just kneeling and squashing Chris. This is Chris over here. She's tiny, you know, small uh, lady, uh, but very feisty. Yeah, so um, I'm really having trouble with triangles at the moment. I mean, triangles are never really my forte, but I can't get my knees crunched into my chest enough to uh, finish the triangle. So here I'm just, I've just decided to uh, take her arm off instead. Yeah, so what Chelsea really needs to do is take this hand and then pull herself around this corner somehow. I can't reach. But her <laughs> arms are too short and her core is not quite strong enough. <laughs> so. Uh, instead, just ripping the arm the wrong way. And now, this is Malia on the bottom. Malia's relatively renowned for kicking people in the head. Yeah, so I'm safe here because her, her feet are hidden, so... Yeah, and as you can see, Charles is using a big man jiu-jitsu. She's about to sit on Malia's head. Uh, this position, right, wait for it, here is where I spent most of my uh, time rolling with Charles when she was pregnant. I was carrying a little ball and she was squashing my head. He deserved it. Or kneeling on my face, or kneeling on my neck, any of those kind of things. Because um, obviously I didn't want to break the nugget before she was born. It's all going fine here, and then I think I just kind of fall over. Yeah. It's not a bad yeah. position, like this is okay. Yeah. Setting out the kimura grip here, and you know, if Chelsea can pull her leg out, she's going to be in a strong position. And then it just stops. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of fell over. I think my knee was caught, my knees still feel kind of funny. So I think my knee is caught underneath her. Um. But, I don't know. I don't know. I could have just been tired. <laughs> yeah, and then she gets back up and just like sits on Malia, trying to squash her in the motorcycle position, and then tries to rip her leg off. And then I'm telling her not to knee bar Malia, because it's not fair. I mean, it seems fair. Okay, so this is Kerry. I'm sorry, we look actually very similar. I didn't realize until... Um, we, until I was using this footage, we look very similar and I think we're wearing the exact same gi as well. Yes, right. So it's, <laughs> it's a difficult one. So, but I'm on the bottom. Yeah, Chelsea <laughs> on the bottom. And uh, this is the, the infamous uh, face double. Chelsea used to do this. She still, well, apparently still does this as well. This is pretty much the only sweep that I'm capable of doing at the moment. So she's fed the lapel. Oh no, she's got just no, hugging the legs hugging and the just legs. <laughs> kicking her over, burying her face into the crotch. <laughs> And you can see... Uh, that's me on top of Yeah, that's... that's uh, so Carrie's fed the lapel. She's been doing a lot of lapel She's doing guards. real techniques. Yeah, she's doing real lapel guards, but my my joints can't handle it. So again, I just kind of fell over. And this is me telling Tom not to not to yell at me for falling Yeah, I was over. yelling at her because she was just falling over and it's not a good idea. And she's like, oh, my core. And I'm like, I don't care. No, it was my knees. Oh, it was your knees. The lapel, <laughs> the lapel guard is really not kind on your knees. I didn't realize so much until um, until yeah, really my knees. Yeah, really wrecks the knees. 
And it, Chelsea's now, I think, just going to come up and knock her over again with some sort of face cover more than like. Oh no, this I'm is doing, the. I'm doing big man jitsu. This is like a scissor sweep. Sort but it's of. like the the big man scissor sweep, you know, the yeah. the kind where you just kick them as hard as you can because you don't have any technique. Yeah, laying on top of Kerry to squash her. <laughs> and then we see Malia. She also has to stand up and go up pretty well. Gets hold of the key. But pants. you can see, go back. Again, I, I stand up and I'm used to being able to just kind of power out of grips and I can't. Yeah, <laughs> they don't go anywhere. <laughs> She's looking at Toriando, okay, somehow ends up on the bottom. We're in guard again, just knocking Malia over to the side. Malia. Again, like, I can't keep my Dillahiva hook in at all. It just, it kind of keeps just flopping to the side. I don't know what's going on with Malia, that. her posture, such problems with her posture most of the time. Uh, I don't know why her face is buried down there. Yeah, she could have passed not, much easier. But, you know, she's trying to use this shin trap that we were teaching at the time. So fair play to her. She's actually <laughs> putting that in. Uh, my butt's going to get in the way in a moment. Yeah. I just, just wanted, wanted to be involved. involved. Here, this, the typical <laughs> big man sweep. This, oh, yeah. This is this is epic big man jitsu here. Like, let's see if we can get it. Get out of the way. Look, here. This is, like, no technique. <laughs> I'm just a bowling all. ball. And then I'm gonna grab your belt and lift you. I mean, Malia's posture is bad, so. I mean, she did kind of deserve it because her posture was pretty terrible. And then get squashed, and Chelsea decides to sit on her again. Like, just squashing. I think I was stood there. You know, I, I know why I was stood there. It's because you were so close to the thing. You can't see from the camera that we're using, but they're, they're super close. Like, this mat's only a meter away. So now Malia's drawing into the knee slide. And I can't retain my guard, so I think I'm just going to double leg her again. Yeah, she's going to use the same face double. But Malia. Malia just swept herself, essentially, so I didn't even have to do the face double. Yeah, they're going to reset. Oh, so we're actually doing, uh, what are, we, are we doing specific training at this point? Yeah. Where we're starting, yeah, we're doing specific training from various different guards. And I think we're starting, yeah, we're starting in the Dillahiva. Yeah. So chest steps up, very nice leg weave. We're actually working this. And then just squashes. Like this, normal. When Chelsea's at uh, a uh, fighting weight, this would never happen. There would have to be way more movement because <laughs> she just squashes. No, but it's nice to just be able to squash yeah. people for a change. And then, like, I gotta say. <laughs> and Malia starts to sit up, which is not necessarily the right thing to do. Chelsea just reaches over. Comes over the top I think and I then just it's. Her as hard yeah. As I can. Well, so there you go. There's the cross face. And slam her back to the ground and start the squashing again. And we restart. Here I'm dealing with a child. You can hear her kind of screaming in the background. She's squawking. She's... I think he's yelling at me that she needs to be fed, and there's just no way that I'm uh, I'm gonna give up this position. Look, look at this. I mean, this is a better, actually, better posture, but it's not. It's not ideal for passing the over under position. And here, just using. Using that extra size in the big man jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Terrible elbow positioning as well. Let me, let's just talk about this for a minute. Like, look at this. This is, this is not a strong position matter. for your I'm arms. It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna squash. <laughs> this isn't, this isn't good. This elbow should be back against the hip. Look at it there. It doesn't even matter. Look at well, it. Well, it does, because Malia it. escapes. Look, no, Malia, she doesn't, she I does. take her back. No, look, so yeah, Malia's gonna push her knee back inside. Look, she just pushes on your elbow, because it's open. She can start getting a knee back. Okay, you managed to spin towards the back, but come on. I'm also, I also look like I'm moving through like jello. Yeah, and then <laughs> Malia tries the face double but ends up getting her face chokes. So don't do that. Here you can see the bouncy swing. This is a very important That's an baby important setting. Technique. Again, Malia trying to sweep. Good balance from Charles. Gets knocked down. I did not get my hips never hit the floor. You're getting knocked down there. That's like, not that's, that's not getting knocked listen, down unless your hips hit the when floor. You were, right? When you were when you were in fighting weight, you would have stepped over this leg and cut back to the leg weave. This is getting knocked down. <laughs> if Malia could invert under a mountain, she would. She's got a tunnel her way through that. So I mean this is good, you know, you stepped into this position. This is nice, this is good. It's toes on the mat, which is excellent what we're telling the students. Malia's trying to knock you down. <laughs> Again, my knee just kind of fails me there. But now, apparently, the baby is hungry. So, baby's hungry. Do a sweet. So, I have to go and beat up Malia. Bearing in mind. And there's a, a gratuitous baby shot there. Because yeah. I thought everybody would, would like a good baby shot. Everybody loves a good baby shot. Again, now I'm just triangling Malia. Poor Malia, I wasn't even warm at this point. This is Carrie again. Oh, yeah. Sorry, so, Carrie. Chelsea's now squashing Carrie for some reason. 
Well, I think because I passed. So I'm having a really hard time getting my chest to the back. It's like a, a side effect of breastfeeding, I think. It hurts a lot. So here, you can see I'm just kind of like falling off the back. And Carrie's trying to escape. And I just can't, I can't keep my seatbelt strong. So I think I just get up on top and I try and tear it, but I think that it's futile. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to encourage Carrie because, you know. Yeah, and I just lose the back. Yeah. And then it's all over at this point. And I look like I'm about to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tired face right there. Yeah. Okay, so um, hopefully you guys found that somewhat interesting. Yeah, I'm going to take some more footage over the coming weeks as I kind of I kind of uh, recover a little bit more and um, so we can see how how things kind of improve because they can only go up from here. <laughs> <laughs>